Okay, let's now look at number 9 in sample exam 2, chem 11. Here we were told that we have a diprotic acid that's titrated to equivalence point with a base. And the question is, what's the identity of the acid? So equivalence point, as you know, means the point at which the number of moles of the acid is stoichiometrically equal to the number of moles of the base. So we're not just saying that the number of moles of base and acid have to be equal, but it's that they have to be stoichiometrically equal which of course means we need to write some kind of a reaction. Another definition that's important here is the word diprotic, it means that there's two acidic proton in the acid, so the formula of a diprotic acid H2X. Okay. All right, so let's write this down as a reaction since we need to do some kind of stoichiometry. So H2X is our acid, ALOH3 is our base, double displacement reaction, so this would end up giving us Al2X3 and H2O. You balance this out, you're gonna get three, for that, two for this, and six for that. To identify the acid, we're going to need the molar mass. And we can get the molar mass if we can get the mass of the acid over the number of moles of the acid. We're given the mass of the acid, and the other number we're going to need to calculate is the number of moles of the acid to solve this problem. We can rule out some of the answers here. The first acid, sulfuric acid, is H2SO4, so that's a diprotic acid. The second acid also is a diprotic acid, carbonic acid. But the third one, HCO, OH only has one acidic proton, so this is a monoprotic acid, so that's not going to be the answer. Same thing here with HNO3, that's also a monoprotic acid. So possible answer now reduced down to A, B, or E. So let's do the number of moles of the acid, which we can calculate if we know the number of moles of the base. So the number of moles of the base we can calculate by taking its volume, which is 25 milliliter or 0.025 liter times 0.122 moles per liter aluminum hydroxide, which I can then multiply with the stoichiometric relationship, which is 3 to 2, and that would cancel out the aluminum hydroxide to give me an answer that corresponds to the number of moles of the diprotic acid. So molar mass of the acid is going to be the mass, which is 0.2837 grams, over the number of moles that we just calculated, and that ends up being 62 grams per mole. And if we look at the two choices of answers that we have for the diprotic acid. This one matches with carbonic acid, so that's going to be our answer.